Hello guys, today we're going to set up uh, FL Studio with Voice Meter Banana. Uh, I got some questions about it lately. Let's open up FL Studio. I'm not the master of FL Studio, so bear with me with this. Okay, yes. I just normally close this. This is all we need actually. We are just going to go to options, audio settings. Voice meet insert virtual ACO. It's the same if using the potato as well. Then you just choose the potato insert virtual ACO. Uh, sample rate. Here you actually in, in FL Studio you need to set it up manually to 48. For some reason you're going to get an error saying it's not compatible, blah, blah, blah. And then you set it to 48. That's fine. That was just my scroll wheel. And just go through settings. You probably know a bit more about FL than I do, since you find use it. So yeah, this is actually it. So now it's set up for ready to use with the uh, with voice meter. So this is the part you're gonna need. Now it's set to master. We don't really need the master, so I know let's pull that down. So there is multiple ways to set this up. The normal, most simple way, you click on insert one, you go in here and you pick in one left and right. That would be your uh, microphone in one on the in one channel. And then on the bottom part here, you just pick exactly the same in one left and right. So now it's just patching straight through. Then let's do channel two. Patching straight through. Doesn't matter what you've done here. And let's see. Let's do in five. I got the YouTube video running in the back so you can see it moving around. And then I would just go. Now it's going passing straight through. So this is if this is all you wanted. So you're just passing straight through. So you can use filters and all sorts in uh, FL. Uh, you're done now. With with FL anyway. Then just make sure that these ones are active on the channels you want to send. Um, Send through because if you don't have these active, FL will pick pick the sound up. I'm just talking to the mic here. FL is going to be picking it up as you can see on insert one. But if you ha have add anything into the input, like a filter or anything, will not be heard in voice mirror until you activate that. And if you have this activated and you have not, let me click on, I can show you on insert free here because this is moving on the YouTube. So, and then you have none here. You can see, still see the sound is coming in, but you have it active. So that means you don't have an output from, from FL to go back into uh, voice mirror. In that case, you can always just turn it off for the moment until you set it all up again, if you listen to something important or just leave it on and just make sure that you add it back in again. There we go. Now it's patching through. You see it going through here. So you can add filters and all sorts to inputs and outputs. So this is the, the way that most people want me to show them how to set it up. There is a second way you can do it. That is that it captures the input, but you actually want them to be mixed into a single channel output, I mean, stereo output. Then in that case, you would go to uh, click on the master. 
choose what channel you wanted to output to. For example, uh, 3. Since I don't have anything on channel 3, so that would be quite good. So, now, we just activate that. On 3, pull up the volume on the master. So, And now you can see that everything going into uh, the master is coming out on three. So you can have a already mixed uh, channel. So some people want to do it this way, but then you have to remember to mute yourself on your uh, voice meter microphone in Discord. Uh, yeah. Might me is Discord, so you don't send the the mic the ready mix into whatever channel your microphone is already going to. And then I know a lot of people now asking, but how do I get a filter on? Now just add this back in. So now it's going straight through FL. And you would then go to, let's say, your microphone. You go click slot. And here's all your plugins. Oh. And here you can do a search. And let's see, I want to RN. Okay, RN noise is not... Oh, yeah, it's on a different channel. I haven't added that um, folder. But I can NDI. I have NDI, NDI plugins. Uh, compressors. Got re Reefer. That's a good... For people like that. And yeah, that's activated now on the microphone. So let's, uh, okay. And you can see see it moving along with my uh, talking here. And reefer is like a, almost a little bit like a background noise cancellation thing. So yeah, it's working good. I don't use it myself. I don't think it's for background cancellation. I'm not really sure what it's for, but a lot of people say it works. You can use it as a noise floor, uh, yeah, remover. And then, yeah. Then you can just delete it from the slot. Yeah, that's it. That's uh, how simple it is. Any questions, just uh, shoot me a ping in uh, Discord, and I'll see if I can help you. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked it, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. And see you next time.